How to GPU mine Electronium with AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. Here I am at Electronium.com. They are supposed to have an online wallet, mobile wallet, and mobile miner. However, that's been delayed. They don't have it out yet. If you scroll down and read the page, you can learn more about it. It was a crowd sale ICO, a recent one. Currently, it's exchanging on Cryptopia, and maybe on other exchanges in the future like Poloniex, Bitrex, Bitfinex. I'll click on their blog. And in their blog, you can see that they are using the Kryptonite algorithm. They liked Monero. So it is mineable with the same miners that you can mine Monero with. I'll go to Downloads. Here there's some mining information and the offline wallet generator. There's a browser version and you can download it in a zip file. You're going to need Google Chrome browser in order to use it. I'll go ahead and click on browser version. Here it says to make sure that you don't give anyone your private spend or private view keys. Make sure you keep those secret and safe. It says the entire page can work while disconnected from the internet. It says for maximum security, you should download the version to run from a USB stick on a PC or Mac that is not connected to the internet. However, you can use it in a browser. It does recommend using incognito mode. I'll click on let's get started. Here I'm just going to move my mouse around to generate my random key. Now it's done, I'll click on Save Wallet as PDF. That'll download my wallet for me. You can see it's in my Downloads folder. I'll click on it in the browser to open in the browser. Here are your private view and private send keys. Make sure that you do keep those private. Do not let anyone see those. And here is your public wallet. That's the address you're going to use to receive coins and to mine to. Here is the official Electronium pool. They have EU, USA, and Asia pools. However, the fee is very high and not very many people use the pool. There are other pools that have been made. Electromine.fr is one of the favorite pools. It generally has a pretty high hash rate when compared to the network hash rate. Right now it's a little bit low. Another pool is HashParty.io. This is an okay pool. When I click on Getting Started, you can see they have different ports for different kinds of hardware. And they have a lot of examples of miners that you can use to mine Electronium. We're going to be using Claymore's GPU miner in the first example and the CC NVIDIA miner in the second example. You can also CPU mine if you like, however I'm not going to be doing that in this video. I've already downloaded Claymore CryptoNote AMD GPU Miner version 10.2. I'll go back to electromine.fr and click on how to mine. Here you can see they also have different ports for different starting difficulties. I'm going to be using port 7777. So I'm going to go ahead and extract the miner. Then I'll go into the folders and edit the configuration file. I'm going to want to copy the pool from electronium.fr and paste that over the pool in my configuration file. And then I'm going to want to change the port from 3333 to 7777. Next, I'm going to want to enter my address. I'll go back to my paper wallet and copy my public wallet address. Paste that over the default Monero address in the configuration file. And just get rid of the spaces and the line breaks. So it's now one continuous line. The other thing I want to do is use the all pools function. So I'll delete the hashtag in front of all pools and use that. Now I can save the configuration file, close it, and launch the miner by double clicking on the start batch file. Now 
Now if you have any problems launching the miner if GPUs fail to load, make sure that you do have enough virtual memory. Here I'm using about 60 gigs, 60,000 megabytes. So just make sure you have enough, just keep setting it higher and higher until it does work. I'll go back to electromine.fr and at the bottom of the page I can enter my address and look it up for my worker stats and payouts. So I'll go back to the configuration file, copy my address, paste it in and click lookup. Now it shows me my stats and payment history. I am using 8 RX 580s here. It would be best to use Vega cards, Vega 56 or Vega 64 cards. They produce a much higher hash rate when compared to any of the other current GPUs. However, even using 580s right now does pay good if you do send it to an exchange and trade it or sell it. So I'll mine a little bit of this for now until it doesn't pay very well. We'll see how it goes. Another pool you can use to mine electronium is easyhash.io. This is also a good pool. They have a fairly high pool hash rate. Now I'm going to try the NVIDIA miner on hashparty.io. I'll click on getting started. I've already downloaded CC miner. You can download it from GitHub if you don't have it. I'm going to extract the miner. Go into the folder. And now I need to create a batch file, so I'll create a new text document. I'll name it start, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to open it. Now I'll copy the launch command from the pool into the text document. And I'm going to want to enter my wallet address, which I have below. So I'll copy that, paste it in, and that's it. I can go to save as, add a .bat batch file extension, change save as type from text document to all files, and click save. Now I'll delete the text file and double click on the start batch file and launch the miner. Now NVIDIA cards do not produce a very good hash rate with this algorithm. It is much better to use AMD cards and again much better to use the Vega 56 or 64 cards. However, if you want to mine with NVIDIA cards, you can. It's still better than mining with a CPU. Again, I can go to your stats and payment history, paste in my address and look it up and it will show me my minor statistics. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.